Welcome to part two of Laurel, Crafting with Laurels. I always get that backwards. Anyway, I couldn't stop making what we were working on with the different scrap pieces. Look at that. Oh, wee. All right. And I still have a whole bag full. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go ahead and make the bowl. Let me unwind some of this goodness. I want to put my sewing machine on straight stitch. Put my scissors somewhere out of the way. Can everybody see okay? I think so. All right, here's the very beginning of the wrap. Yes, you got some um, strings. Most of the strings will tuck in between. All right, I didn't get the filler out of this one. Let's see if I can wiggle that filler out of here. This one is a little bit tough to do. See the filler? Some of your rope has filler in it. If you cut some of that out, it's easier to Let's see if I can do that without pulling my. All right, so it makes it a little easier to fold where you're starting your circle. All right, come on, cooperate. There we go. If you have arthritis, it can be a little hard. So you might want a softer rope. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in it. One pin will hold. Now you want your working cord on the right hand side. Right hand side. Don't worry about the strings. You can trim them off when you're done. Alright, I got it under the needle. Put my foot down. I have a noisy sew machine. I'm using a Kenmore. It's a little wore out, but she still is working. All right, so I'm going to do like a star shape. You can do a T or an X. Here we go. Let's see what this goodness is going to look like. It's going to be pretty, I think. Do I have bobbin? Hopefully I don't run out of bobbin. Alright, let me pull this string from the, the thread from the sewing machine. I keep calling it string, but it's thread. Alright. Turn it. Alright, so I'm going to, um, I got to lift my needle up. I am going to not do this zigzag. I'm going to do the three step, um, zigzag. It's the same as the zigzag, but it, it does one stitch, two stitch, three stitch, and then it does the zigzag pattern. I'm sure most of you are uh, familiar with that. All right, here we go. It's a little bit more time consumed to do it because of the steps it has to go through, but it turns out really pretty. So now you can uh, use a pretty color thread if you want. It'll show in your bowl. Instead of using zigzag, you can use the three-step zigzag.
see the three step zigzag here let me zoom in so you can see it see it gives it a pretty design some more goodness oh my goodness so pretty reminds you of a patchwork quilt Machine sounds like a horse, a bunch of horses galloping. Look at that, that is gorgeous. I'm loving it. This is that ribbon lace that I was showing y'all. So pretty. start tipping it to form the bowl oh man this is pretty you guys I think I should have made it a wider stitch it's a little flimsy I'm tipping it up to start forming the bowl
stitch. There we go, let's try it. This is pretty. Do you like colors? This is fun. Now you see why I do a two part video. <laughs> Alright, this is that trellis lace. twists here. See, I'm putting my middle finger right here up against the foot and help you steer it. It does have a bigger bobbin, so it holds more thread.
go from the rich. Just hugging the top part of my sewing machine, so it's giving me a harder steer here. wrapping my rope first instead of while I'm sewing look how long it took me to actually make the bowl alright so I'm going to put the needle down I'm going to switch back well let me put the needle up I'm going to switch back to the regular zigzag and I'm going to cut my rope look at there y'all we did it together. Look so pretty. Alright, rope is cut. I'm gonna wrap it around it. There we go. Uh oh, let's see the boo boo I made. Now I need to put the needle down. I'll put up bring this in, tuck it in there foot down back stitch and get that tucked in there better than that or cut it is it gonna come on now you're too pretty now don't be acting up back stitch You guys, this is pretty, pretty, and I got a couple peekaboos. Alright, I'm gonna turn the sewing machine light up so you can see it. I was giving it a hard time. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at all those beautiful colors in there. that pretty all right y'all let me know what you think give me a thumbs up put a comment and say laurel that was awesome i love it uh, <laughs> and subscribe it helps my channel out if y'all like my channel help a sister out Alright, thank you. Love y'all. I hope you enjoyed that. This was part two.
Love you.